Hi, this is me, Liz Maria, the Soldier of Mary. Today, I want to look at something very strange that I have recently seen in some of the messages at Medjugorje. There's one message in the 1,500 messages at Medjugorje. There's one message in which Our Lady spreads some light over the secrets of Fatima. She seems to give some indication as to what those secrets are and whether the third secret of Fatima as it has been revealed by the church, is genuine. Okay, I'm going to jump straight in and read the message out to you. This was something Our Lady said, August the 25th, 1991. Bear with me, the part about Fatima comes midway. Dear children, today also I invite you to prayer. Now, as never before, when my plan has begun to be realised, Satan is strong and wants to sweep away my plans of peace and joy and make you think that my son is not strong in his decisions. Therefore, I call all of you, dear children, to pray and fast still more firmly. I invite you to self-renunciation for nine days so that, with your help, everything that I desire to realize through the secrets I began in Fatima may be fulfilled. I call you. Dear children, to now grasp the importance of my coming and the seriousness of the situation, I want to save all souls and present them to God. Therefore, let us pray that everything I have begun be fully realized. Thank you for having responded to my call. So it's an interesting message. It's a strange message. The Virgin is telling the world that Satan is trying to stop her plans from being fulfilled and to prevent my son and his decisions from being firmly carried out. And she's asking us to pray and fast so that her son's plans will be fulfilled. And then in particular, she says that with your help, everything I desire to realize through the secrets I began in Fatima may be fulfilled. So it is strange for a number of reasons. She's suggesting that the secrets that she began in Fatima have not yet been fully realized. I guess that means that the events that the secrets refer to at Fatima have not yet been fully realized. And yet they're clearly the kind of thing that we should want to be fully realized. Okay, so let's have a quick look over the secrets of Fatima and have a look at whether they're fully realized or whether we would want them to be fully realized. Let's have a look at them. So the first secret of Fatima, what we call the first secret of Fatima is the vision of hell. You have seen hell, the place where poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my immaculate heart. And with that text, there was also a vision. It's interesting, for all of the secrets, at least this is my view, for all of the secrets, there's a vision component and then there's a message component. So for the first secret, there's a vision of hell and a message that this is hell where poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish devotion in the world to my immaculate heart. The second secret. The second secret is if this is not done, if Russia is not consecrated, then a worse war will break out in the reign of Pope Pius XI. Russia will spread her errors. Various nations will be annihilated. And in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. That's basically the second message. The second message contains a lot. Basically, it is the spreading of errors by Russia, a worse war breaking out in the reign of Pius XI. Some people say the illumination of the night sky just before the beginning of the Second World War is also part of this second secret. And what did the children see? We've not been told exactly, but my guess is horrible vision of war, of destruction of maybe what the areas of Russia consisted of, or maybe just a a fear spread over them at the thought of these evils spreading across the world. And then we come to the third secret. Now, the third secret, 
Okay, so in the year 2000, the Vatican told the world that the third secret consisted of a vision, a vision of a bishop in white going through a ruined city and then going up a hill. And as he goes up the hill, these guys jump out with bows and arrows and also guns and he is shot down. Loads of priests are also shot down. And there's a big cross. He's walking up to a big cross. And he's shot down. Loads of other people are shot down. And the angel with a sword is crying out, penance, penance, penance. It's a horrible vision. And Our Lady then says to Lucia, tell this to no one. Francisco, yes, you may tell him. So that there is perhaps a text element. A lot of people think there's a text element because because there's a tell, Francisco. You may tell him. And a lot of people think that they heard something as well. But officially, the party line of the Vatican is that this is a vision. And to add to that, the Vatican tells us that this horrible vision actually referred to the attempted assassination of John Paul II when he was driving through his motorcade in the Vatican by some guy probably put up by the communists. And that's what we've been told is the fulfillment of this third secret. Okay, going back now to the message at Medjugorje, let's look at it once more. She's saying here that she wants everything that she began through the secrets in Fatima to be realized. She is asking people to pray that what was there in the Fatima secrets may be realized, may be fulfilled. And so it makes us wonder, makes us think that Fatima, the Fatima secrets refer to events that were still to come in the year 1991. That's interesting because, okay, the first secret about the vision of hell, I guess, I guess we could say, has devotion to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart really been established in the world? I don't know, that's debatable. Maybe we could say loads of churches have now got statues of Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. I mean, her, her image of uh, Fatima. And lots of people are aware of the term Immaculate Heart. Their feast day to the Immaculate Heart is there in the church's calendar. People do the five first Saturdays of reparation against sins committed against Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. I think we could say, though, that devotion to the Immaculate Heart could increase and people could understand better what it means to have a devotion to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. So maybe here in this message, Our Lady is saying that souls are still going to hell in a big way. And I'm here in Medjugorje so that you may be more devoted to my Immaculate Heart so that this secret, the first secret of Fatima, may be more fully realized. OK, that kind of makes sense. But interestingly, Our Lady mentions her Immaculate Heart very rarely at Medjugorje. She only mentions her Immaculate Heart 28 times. And she never talks about devotion to her Immaculate Heart. She never talks about devotion to her Immaculate Heart as being a means to save souls from hell. But she does, on a couple of occasions, encourage consecration to her Immaculate Heart. So maybe, and, and certainly this visionary, Miriana, her book is entitled, My Heart Will Triumph. So maybe this is what Our Lady is referring to in the secrets being fully realized. But let's just look at the others because she said the secrets being fully realized and not just the first secrets, she said plural. So let's look at the second secret. Now the second secret, Maybe we could say it seems like of all the secrets, this one has been fully realized because and it certainly was by 1991. Russia had spread her errors. The Second World War had come and gone. Maybe the annihilation of nations. Maybe that hasn't been fully realized yet. Maybe there's more of that to come before the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. But it seems kind of likely by 1991, the Russian Empire was certainly in the decline. Actually, by this point, we'd had the fall of the Berlin Wall. And so the Empire of Russia and the Second World War, that was even the Cold War, was beginning to be history. So this second secret, I'm not sure we can talk about that one as needing to be realized. What about the third 
a most controversial secret that was released in the year 2000. Like I said, released in the year 2000, and we're told that it's an, about an event that took place in 1984. And this is strange. So is Our Lady, if it is Our Lady appearing at Medjugorje, is she saying to the world that, in fact, this secret of Fatima has not yet been fully realized in 1991? That's what it seems to suggest to me. But strangely, she's praying, she's asking for us to pray that it will be fully realized. And I kind of wonder my, wonder to myself, do we want this to happen? This horrible vision of this massacre on the mountain as people, as people are walking up to the cross and the Pope leading them through a ruined city. Do we really want to pray for this to come to pass? I don't know. I don't think so. In fact, I would have thought we would be praying for this to be averted. What is very strange about this message purportedly given by Our Lady in 1991, when the secrets, the secret, the third secret of Fatima had not yet been revealed? What's really interesting in 1991, it seems like this message of Our Lady is speaking of the secret of Fatima as if it has not yet come to pass. And OK, so if you don't believe that we got the full secret in the year 2000, this is fine. This is fine. We all know this. But if you are of the, the opinion that in the year 2000, the third secret was released in full, why was the Virgin Mary at Medjugorje saying that we ought to pray that the secret may be fully realized. And I think that because we already knew the first two secrets in 1991, I'm pretty sure that this vision was not about the first two secrets, but that everyone, when they heard it back in 1991, would have been thinking, oh, Our Lady must be referring to this third secret, which is still hidden, which we don't know about. And yet in the year 2000, lo and behold, the Vatican says it's about something that happened in 1984, an event that had actually taken place before Our Lady said, we need to pray for the secret to be fully realized. So I'm of the opinion myself that this message from 1991 was not from Our Lady anyway. I think that it is a really weird thing that she would be telling us to pray that the secret should be realized. I think clearly the people that gave this message, the visionaries, they were of the opinion that the third secret was going to be something really good, maybe. And so pray that, and so when it was going to be announced, or maybe it was never going to be announced, so it had their bets that the third secret was never going to be announced, and it certainly was not going to be about some historical event that had already happened. I think that the children were hedging their bets that the third secret was, was not something from the past and was going to be something vague and in the future. And so they put this in the mouth of Our Lady. And actually, the whole thing has actually backfired on them because actually, according to the Vatican, and according also to the followers of Medjugorje, because Medjugorje followers accept the chronology of the Vatican on this matter, that the third secret was about the assassination of John Paul II. I wonder how followers of Medjugorje are able to explain this message back in 1991. I guess you could be a follower of Medjugorje that also rejects the official Vatican chronology and thinks that Our Lady here in a veiled way is telling us that the Vatican chronology that's going to be released in the year 2000 is not correct. But also then it kind of suggests that you're also of the opinion that the third secret does not refer to infiltration of the Catholic Church or apostasy from within the church or destruction of faith and liturgy by the Roman Church. All things that are proposed as to what the third secret text might actually refer to, then I guess you're not going to be of the opinion that that's a genuine third secret because that's not something that Our Lady would asking us to pray to be realized. Strange. Or maybe I'm just misinterpreting the text here. And maybe Our Lady mentioning Fatima here is a kind of distraction. 
And by telling us, I want the secrets of Fatima to be fully realized, or I want the secrets that I began in Fatima to be fully realized, maybe she's saying, actually, I want something else to be fully realized. I know I'm mentioning Fatima right now, but actually I want some other secrets to be fully realized. And they're ones that you need to pray will be fully realized because actually they're really good things. Maybe, maybe that's it. Anyway, I hope you found this subject interesting and has helped you to grow in devotion to the message of Our Lady of Fatima because that message is still relevant to our time, that the devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary does need to increase in our world. It's through this devotion that many souls are going to be saved. Souls are going to hell because there's not devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. How could you be more devout to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart? May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.